Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Bess and Intuitive Tarot. And in this reading, I'm taking a look at Virgo's love life for the week of October 2020. But do remember, my readings are timeless and time is fluid. And if you haven't checked out your monthly for October, it's in the playlist. Along with other weeks this month, okay? If you're new to this channel, please hit like and subscribe. And if you feel like you're resonating with the message and you want to know more about the energy that surrounds your person and what's in your person's environment, I'll also be providing the link to the extended pinned at the top of the comments and also down in the description box below where you'll also find info on how to book a personal reading with me. Virgo, I want to give you guys a huge apology. It was brought to my attention that I may have missed one of you guys' um, Zodiac readings for this week. I am in between homes right now, so um, I move into my new house in two days, so my life has been like upside down for the last couple of months with this big move and then with my father getting sick. So once I get into the new house in two days, I will start getting more consistent with my upload schedule, okay? So I hope you accept my apology. I friggin' love you guys, alright? Alright, on to the reading. So, I'm going to pick up your person's current energies. I want to know how they currently feel towards you, how their current thoughts are towards you, the actions that they would like to take towards you, and the advice for you moving forward. I'm going to first start off with three Psychic Tarot for the Heart Oracle cards to get more inside their mind and what's going on with their emotions and whatnot, and that's when I also get some, you know, maybe some important dates for you, okay? Whoa, what the fudge? I am not this clumsy, you guys couple more shuffles. What do we have for Virgo's person? Virgo's person. How are they currently feeling towards Virgo? And boom. Let's rock this deck. Virgo's person. Damn, Virgo. What the fudge are you doing? What's going on with you and your person? You have not only the Wheel of Fortune. You have the World card. What are you going through right now? There is a big cycle that's closing and a big one beginning. And it's going to turn in your favor. Yes, you. It's turning in your favor. And it has to do with your person as well. Okay? Right now, there's an energy of feeling defeated or like there's a lose-lose situation with the Five of Swords. Maybe you and your person aren't communicating as strongly as you usually do. Okay? And there's an energy of feeling anxious with this person. But what I'm seeing here is I feel like your person may be handling a lot right now and they're trying to find a balance in their life. They may have two jobs that they're holding down or they've got kids and work and bills and trying to find some time for themselves. There's a lot going on with your person and they're trying to find balance. But the universe is stepping in and creating some changes, all right, because of the Wheel of Fortune. You could be dealing with a fixed energy too. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. And then I have the world more fixed. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. This is telling me that there is so many things going on for your person right now and for you right before a significant change. Okay? Do you ever notice when you're about to go through a big, huge life change, everything's going at you all at once? Kind of like me. I moved across country and I moved from New England down to Florida and all of a sudden everything came at me all at once, like putting my world upside down. That usually happens right before you embark on a brand new journey that is going to be really rewarding and fulfilling and that's why you need to take it in stride. Your person is going through a lot of changes right now and trying to um, get it all together so they might not be giving you the attention that you normally get from them and it's really causing you to feel maybe a little bit defeated or anxious with this person. But there's some positive changes coming in for you guys, some very positive changes. That cycle is closing for a new one to begin. And when I, whenever I see the Wheel of Fortune, I usually see big life events like a birth announcement, a marriage proposal, it's winning a lottery, it's inheriting a lot of money, it's moving, it's, it's big significant life changes similar to the world. The world is graduating high school, graduating college, marriage, divorce. It's all those things that impact your life in a big, big way. And your person's going through it, and I feel like they're going through it with you. Something big is possibly going to be happening on October 21st of this month. October 21st. If not October 21st, October 25th. Or something happened on October 2nd or October 5th. All right, or 
there is going to be a huge life event between you and your person, or more specifically you, on October 5th, 2021, or October 2nd, 2021, or October 25th, 2021. Those are my predictions, okay? And it's going to turn in your favor, so it's not something that you're going to be like, oh shit, what the hell did she just tell me? I have to be worried for a whole freaking year now? What the hell, Badison? No, it's going to turn in your favor, so don't worry. So on to your tarot. You could be dealing with a fixed energy, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius, or an air energy. All right. I also have Sagittarius here. So let's see. What is Virgo's current... What is Virgo's person's current feelings towards Virgo, their current thoughts towards Virgo, and their actions they are wanting to take? Doesn't mean that they're going to take them, but they want to take. And the advice for Virgo moving forward. Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this deck. Virgo's person. All right, their current feelings towards you. Their current thoughts towards you. The actions they want to take. Your advice. And the overall energy on the bottom is the King of Wands, Leo Angie. Wow. Okay, that makes sense. Remember how I said that your person is dealing with a lot of stuff right now and trying to find balance? You bet they're, you bet your butt that they're busy because the King of Wands is a very action-oriented energy. Grass does not grow under the feet of the King of Wands. When there's something going on, the King of Wands takes care of it. Okay, they don't just dawdle on it. They don't just push it for tomorrow. They do it. So your person is definitely doing a lot right now, all right? But they have passion for you. They have excitement for you. They still feel that chemistry because of the, the, the chemistry is here. So their current feelings toward you is the sun, Leo Angie. Heavy Leo here, so something could have significantly went down in Leo season between you, you and your person, or you have Leo in your chart, or your person has Leo in, the, in their chart, or you're a Leo Virgo cusper. But regardless, they feel like you make them super happy. They feel like you are very optimistic. You are someone that brings light to their life. You may even have the tendencies to be a little childlike, but in a good, good way. You bring out the child in them, all right? And there could be a potential pregnancy lingering on, but if you're not in that stage where you're bearing children or want children, just ignore that. That's just a side note for someone. All right, but there is definitely an energy of your person looking at you like once you walk in the room, you light up their life, okay? They see a text coming up on their phone with your name on it. All of a sudden, that puts them in a better mood, okay? And their current thoughts on the situation with you? The Four of Swords. You guys are not in communication or you are in very minimum communication with the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords to me is someone needing to f find time for themselves mentally. Maybe... Your person is going through a lot right now and they're trying to find me time and they don't have any me time. So when they actually get a moment to catch their breath, they're like, I, I will text Virgo later. I will talk to Virgo later. Or if you live with this person, they'll walk in the room from work and just say, hi Virgo, um, I'm just going to go lay down for a little bit and maybe put on a movie. Um, can we talk later? That type of energy. They're definitely trying to work on their mental stimu uh, stimulation or uh, stability. I don't know why I can't talk today. What the fudge? Anyways, and you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The, this energy is not like a permanent energy. Whenever I see the four swords, I see it as a temporary separation of communication or a temporary separation of, you know, physical connection. All right. Someone is feeling very overwhelmed with a lot of life um, things going on. And I mean, they're busy. With the king of wands... And the find balance card here, your person is definitely busy and they're trying to find balance to where they can do everything that they have to while also still taking care of themselves so that they have energy for you. All right. So you guys may have had some, you know, issues where you guys weren't seeing eye to eye and you feel like someone was trying to always get the last word or there was just an energy of things aren't going as planned with us. We can't seem to carry on a conversation without finding some sort of dig or go for the juggler in some sort of way. But there's just a lot of changes and someone's feeling very overwhelmed right now. Your person is feeling extremely overwhelmed and if it's not your person, it's you. And your energy is feeding off to them to where they're acknowledging that you may be needing some distance. They might be getting an energy from you that you want some time to yourself and they might even pull back 
just so that you won't have to tell them, hey, I need some time to myself. All right, and the actions that they want to take towards you, the Seven of Swords, Aquarius energy, they're holding back communication. They're definitely holding back communication. And before you get worried about the Seven of Swords, the surrounding energy doesn't match um, a strong deception. Okay, I'm not seeing a strong deception here. I'm seeing someone who is holding back truthful communication because they just don't know what to say right now. The surrounding energy doesn't match that this person is trying to be intentionally shady, okay? And I will clarify this for you in a moment. But the Seven of Swords to me, based on the surrounding energy, is someone who isn't being truthful about how they currently feel about the stress that's going on in their life, all right? That's how I'm seeing the Seven of Swords, and that's how I'm sticking to it until I clarify it. I'm not seeing that as someone intentionally trying to be sneaky towards you or hurt you in some sort of way. They just got a lot going on right now, and it's like they don't want to let you know, hey, I, I am totally stressed to the max. I need some alone time. They don't want to hurt your feelings, I feel like. All right? And in the advice for you, Virgo, the Nine of Cups, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Your advice is just to enjoy your moment. Enjoy your day-to-day. -day. Be you. Be that sunny energy that your person is viewing you as. They see you as someone that lights up their life, makes them feel good about themselves, you know, keeps them motivated to go to work day to day, be motivated to live another day. You bring a lot of joy to this person's life. So that's why Spirit's advice for you is the Nine of Cups. Keep doing what you're doing, keep being you, keep being that, that positive, radiant energy that your person is needing in their life right now, and everything will fall into place. You're looking good. Your person is just very stressed out right now. Okay, so I'm going to clarify. First, I got to take a sip of my naughty Red Bull. Don't judge me. I couldn't make it to Dunkies to get my iced coffee. <laughs> All right, so why is Virgo's person currently feeling the sun towards Virgo? Why is Virgo's person currently feeling the sun towards Virgo? Could be dealing with a Leo energy. Why is... Virgo's person feeling that Virgo is the sun. Whoa, Nelly. Well, because you are a soulmate with the Two of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You may have had a past life with this person, many past lives actually, because that's what I get with the Two of Cups. So when you met this person, Virgo, you may have felt like instantly, that's my person. That's the person I'm going to marry. That's the person I'm going to settle down with. That's my rock and you guys may have connected really quickly and you still connect so you may be picking up on the energy that your person is just not acting the way that they normally act because the eight of swords and the knight of swords is here again with the harsh communication because someone's inside their head air energy gemini libra aquarius your person is feeling stressed to the max they are they're in their head really badly they might even self-sabotage this connection day to day. It doesn't have to be a permanent thing, but you could have a good day going on with your person. All of a sudden, they like maybe get a little snappy with you with the Knight of Swords because they're so stressed out and they inadvertently take it out on you. And you're like, what the fudge? I'm trying to cheer you up. And they're like, I'm sorry, I'm stressed. So I, I'm just, I'm, I don't want to talk right now with that Knight of Swords. You see that cat? How it's like clawing at the bird? With the Knight of Swords, that's the Knight of Swords energy. You see how that cat is clawing at the bird? That's your person treating you like that bird. You come over to just talk to them and they like snap at you or they just shut down. It's nothing to do with you. It's because they're stressed out. All right? They see you as someone that is their soulmate. They see you as someone that lights up their life, but they can't help but the fact that they are really overwhelmed. They are going through some huge transformation. I am serious, Virgo. The death card, scorpionic energy. Your person is going through so many changes right now with that world, with the wheel of fortune, with the fine balance, the win or lose card, and the king of wands. They are definitely dealing with a lot. They may have lost a member of their family. They might have gone through some sort of illness or a loss of a job or too many jobs or too many people pulling at them left and right. They're just dealing with a lot all at once because they're about to close out a major, major chapter of their life and embark on a brand new one free of all this stress. This is like um, spirit having everything happen all at once. You know, when it rains, it pours, that saying. And then once it rains, it pours. And then a rainbow comes in after it with the pot of gold. 
There's a reason why that's called that because when something bad happens, it comes in threes or sixes or nines and then you're like, what the hell, I can't take anymore, I can't take anymore and then when you feel like you're right, right about to snap, everything clears up, the cycle closes and all of a sudden good things start coming your way because you're starting a new journey. Your person is going through a huge, huge change, all right, and they're having trouble handling it. That's all. They're having trouble handling it, so their only way of knowing how to do it is maybe to cut communication with you, or if they are communicating with you, it's bare minimum, and it's not their normal, you know, high energy self. All right, so why is the Four of Swords in Virgo's person's thoughts towards Virgo? Why is the Four of Swords, four of swords in Virgo's person's thoughts towards Virgo? guys this is so cute even though they're in uh, minimal communication with you with the four of swords they want to reunite with the three of cups cancer energy you guys could have a difference in age or a difference in race there's some sort of difference about you guys but they're not happy about being alone but they're trying to gain their abundance right now you see this is the nine of pentacles which is your energy but also Taurus and Capricorn in the traditional Rider weight deck, when you look at the Nine of Pentacles, you'll see a woman smiling, surrounding Nine Pentacles, butterflies, and a lot of foliage. She's happy. She's abundant. But in this deck, it looks like an honorary cat. It looks like a annoyed cat. This is telling me that your person is trying to uh, regain independence, regain abundance, regain stability, and they're not happy right now. They don't want to be like this, but they're all over the place. You are dealing with someone who's all over the place. I'm serious. They may have started a new job or started a brand new business or there's just so much going on all at once that it's just stressing them out. You guys could be moving. Your person's moving. But they do want to uh, reunite with you with that Three of Cups and bring balance to the situation with the Six of Pentacles. Your energy, but also Capricorn and Taurus. They want to bring balance to the situation. They want to be generous towards you as you have been with them or vice versa. They're in the middle of manifestation with the magician, Aries energy. You and your person are about to embark on a big chapter, whether it's together or apart. There is a huge chapter that is going down right now to have that world in the, the Wheel of Fortune here. And now the magician. So if your person has been all over the place, just know there's a lot going on. So why is the Seven of Swords in their actions that they want to take towards Virgo? Why is the Seven of Swords in the actions they want to take towards Virgo? The Strength and the Ace of Cups. Even though they are holding back truthful communication with you in their heart, they're just holding back. But they do want a new opportunity with you with the Ace of Pentacles towards Virgo Capricorn. They're holding back, communicating their true feelings. That's what the strength in the Seven of Swords is telling me with the Ace of Pentacles. They are, ah! They are holding back truthful communication with the Seven of Swords and strength when they really do want abundance. They want a new beginning. They want this new chapter to begin already. All right, they're getting stressed out. They, they're thinking in their head, all right, already, I'm going through the world. I'm going through the Wheel of Fortune moment. Can this hurry up already and close this cycle so I can start brand new now? That's the energy I'm getting, all right? So I just, I, I just see that someone is just impatiently wanting the cycle to close and they're getting stressed out. So they might take it out on you. So why is Virgo's advice the Nine of Cups? Why is Virgo's advice the Nine of Cups? Why is Virgo's advice the Nine of Cups? Water energy, the High Priestess, Pisces energy, you could be using your intuition right now and understanding uh, there's more going on with the situation than, than they have shared with you or you're going to someone intuitive with that High Priestess. You may be feeling left out in the cold, but you're not letting it get you down with the Five of Pentacles towards Virgo Capricorn. And fives are all about change. So if this person has been like ignoring you or making you feel like you're not number one to them anymore, it's it's just a, a, a phase that they're going through and it's going to change, okay? Because they do view you as the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy, all right? And there definitely could be a pregnancy surrounding you or in the future with that sun and the Empress showing up. So... Why is the King of Wands the overall energy for Virgo's person? Oh my goodness. The Four of Swords and the Star. 
your person is going through a lot right now with the King of Wands, so they might take time away from this connection to work on their own mental stability, and they're going through some sort of healing. It's like at the end of the day, they just want to wash the day away and just lay in their room, watch a movie, or play a video game, or just zone out to a friggin' Candy Crush game on their phone or some sort of Farmville and just go through some sort of healing. But they are trying to find strength to get through this huge cycle. So the Four of Swords is definitely telling me that your person's not communicating right now because they got a lot on their plate. They do want to work with you with the Three of Pentacles or you could have met this person at work, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So let me get um, three Romance Angels for how Virgo is seeing this situation. In the extended, I'll dig deeper into your person's true feelings, intentions, and actions towards you, and then I'll get romance angels for how they see things. Um, before I continue, the heavy hitters I have here are Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Leo, definitely, um, Taurus, definitely, um, Aquarius, Pisces, Libra, Aquarius, I think I have already said, but don't focus on the zodiac signs, just focus on the energy, okay? We can all embody all elements. Give me three cards for how Virgo is seeing this. Please hit like and subscribe. I don't know why I said it like that, all high pitched and all, but yeah. And hit that like button. It helps my videos circulate and helps my channel grow, and I freaking love it. All right, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And I got an extra card for you guys. So you guys may be going through a, a huge healing right now. Or maybe your person is dealing with a lot of fam family issues or they are part of your family and you know this already that they are just dealing with a lot of, you know, maybe mental or emotional illnesses in the family, deaths, things like that because I did see the death card. Or there's just a lot of personal issues going on for your person and they're trying to just get it all together. But spirit wants you to love yourself, okay? Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And that's what I was getting with the Nine of, Pen uh, Nine of Cups. Love yourself. Be in your moment. Enjoy your bliss. You're, you're being represented by the sun. So you're definitely showing up as someone who is very optimistic and very um, positive and things like that. Keep that going. Keep that mindset. Keep loving yourself. All right. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. This person does have feelings for you and you have mutual feelings for them. This, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. You guys could already be engaged or already married or this could lead to an engagement or this is just turning into a higher level of commitment. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy with the passion card, Leo energy again, king of wands. This person has chemistry for you. This person has passion for you. If they're just acting out of character right now, just know that there is a lot of major ch uh, changes coming in, but they do... They do see the uh, the light at the end of the tunnel and they will take action. They will find the will to move forward with the chariot cancer energy. And that's when they're, they'll they feel like their wishes have come true with the nine of cups. They want to be the nine of cups like you are being the nine of cups. Okay? So that was your reading. If it resonated, the link to the extended is down below. I got a hair tickling me. Hold on. Please hit like. Please hit subscribe. If you want to book a personal reading, the link is down below. Um, but until then, I freaking love you, Virgo. Bye.